progesterone has an effect on increasing sex drive. So decreased libido in a woman is a very complex matter. It has a lot to do with estrogen progesterone balance and the symptoms that are caused when estrogen progesterone is out of balance. So even though estrogen progesterone is a part of it, there's a lot of other issues also involved in decreased libido. Conventional medicine puts patients on birth control pills, thyroid hormone, and antidepressants, okay, because I call it symptom chasing, okay. The birth control pills, because they just totally cover up the situation, they're really not correcting any problems, they're just really shutting down the ovaries, and then the synthetic hormones take over the system. Well, the problem is your body does not have the enzyme capabilities are the metabolic processes to properly metabolize these synthetic hormones. So therefore, you get problems such as weight gain, people get hair loss. We know that Provera, which is a synthetic hormone, is definitely associated with increase in breast cancer. So a lot of times, by not understanding what is actually going on and trying to chase the symptoms, we can cause more problems than we help. The second thing that a lot of patients are put on is a synthroid, a thyroid hormone. Now, not that thyroid hormone is harmful, but usually if it's really an estrogen progesterone problem that they're trying to correct, you have a lot of difficulty trying to manage or monitor that thyroid hormone because we're only looking at a secondary problem. And so a lot of times these patients are on thyroid hormone, but they have absolutely no symptom relief. And even though they have the symptoms of hypothyroidism, which is fatigue and weight gain, is really an estrogen dominance problem that is causing it. The third thing that a lot of patients are subjected to or prescribed are antidepressants. Because we don't understand the PMS and the irrational moods and the sleep problems, the decreased libido that the patients are, are having, they're diagnosed as being depressed. But the depression is really coming from the estrogen overload and its effect on the thyroid hormone because low thyroid hormone will cause depression. And so you have to understand the inner workings between the thyroid gland, the ovaries, and actually the adrenal glands that are the stress glands or produce stress hormones. And Because we don't understand it, we're giving drugs that actually make the problem worse, and it seems to frustrate the patient even more. And then you get frustrated patients, and you get frustrated doctors, and you have a very non-therapeutic relationship. So that's how the lack of understanding and the use of drugs may exacerbate the problem more than it helps it. Well, I tell you, if a person has symptoms that are classic estrogen overload, the quickest remedy is usually progesterone cream. I have in the past asked patients to try progesterone cream for a couple of months and to return to the office and let me know how they feel. And if they have estrogen overload and they use progesterone, after about a week or two, they will notice a dramatic decrease in their symptoms. That's what happened with my wife. We tried the progesterone cream. She used it for a couple of weeks, and within a couple of weeks, her bloating went away, her irritability went away, her sex drive increased, her breast tenderness went away, her weight gain before her period stopped. What a lot of patients will say is that their entire premenstrual syndrome went away, and When their menstrual cycle came on, they were surprised because they did not get those prodromal symptoms. Progesterone seems to be the quickest solution. However, you also must understand that what you really want to do is to restore balance. You want your body to be able to function and create its own balance. And so a lot of times once you have gotten rid of the most detrimental symptoms, a patient can then begin to understand what is going on with her and be able to make changes in her life, in her environment, in her diet, so that she can become better in balance naturally, be able to look at different herbal supplements and vitamin and mineral supplements that may help her. But a lot of times when a patient is in a distressed condition because of this estrogen overload, What you want to do is to make her feel better quickly so that she can look at the situation in a different light, and progesterone cream often can do that.
That's what I have found to be the most helpful because, again, if a patient has been frustrated by her doctor or by just uh, feeling uh, helpless in this situation, you have to allow her to feel better as quickly as possible. And progesterone seems to be able to restore that balance. The first, let's get her feeling better. Then we have time, and she is a willing student because you have seemingly understood her and solved her immediate problem, she's more likely to listen to you to help solve her long-term problem. In closing, I just like to tell whoever may be listening to this is that please don't give up. There are somewhat simple solutions that you can incorporate into your life very easily with or without the help of your physician, hopefully with the help of an informed physician. But as simple as changing your diet, changing your lifestyle, using simple, safe supplements, using over-the-counter progesterone creams, all of these things can make a significant difference in your life, a significant difference in your relationship, significant difference in your occupation, and your productivity, but the answers are out there. They're not hard to find. With information from this company, information on the Internet, there is a lot of good information out there, and we want to provide that for you. We want to help you to understand it, and we want to help you change your life for the better. So please don't give up. Please look and make decisions for yourself. Don't accept the information on face value. You're smart enough. You're intelligent enough. You're important enough that you can make decisions on your own that can greatly improve your life, the life of your children, the life of your husband, and the life of your friends and family. So please, please take this information and take action to change your life starting today. I encourage you to get with the person who gave you this tape and ask them for the information included in the booklet that I wrote called Estrogen Overload, The Dangers Every Woman Should Know. Take this information, read it, share it with your friends and family, but most of all, use it to make a difference in your life. 